Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Pike in the top lane, and we're going to be playing with the new Pike skin here on the PB with the Ashen Knight Pike. Now, along with the new Pike skin, they're also introducing a new room called Treasure Hunter. Gain an additional 70 gold the next time you collect a Bounty Hunter stack. Stacking up to 150 gold when you get new Bounty Hunter stacks. So in total, this rune can help snowball you extremely hard because you can get up to 550 gold very quickly just through takedowns. So, now, playing Pike Top, uh, you know, especially against the, you know, things like Riven, you know, things like Renekton, things with, like, very high, um, like, survivability... I'm going to have a hard time just um, straight up beating them 1v1. Pike's not about beating them 1v1. Although, with the snowball potential, maybe we could. But, like, straight up, uh, I got a little first strike gold there just from tapping my Q on her. But uh, with first strike plus uh, the new rune and with the amount of gold I'm going to be generating on Pike already, sounds like a good way to generate a bunch of gold very quickly. So, that's going to be the idea for today's video. Uh, okay, nice. I got most of the minions. 11 and 11. Uh, Ribbon's miss. I want to get just a quick Q poke just to generate, like, activate my first strike. Aw, oh, he took it away from me. You got that third Q on me? Uh, there might be a deep ward, like, right here or something. My Zach doesn't have Sweeper, though. Ooh. That is a really good trade he just took. He double-casted right there, too. Okay. He denied the cannon, but he just took half his health. I don't know if that's worth <laughs> see we do have ignite he has tp the the ribbon does have high amount of burst though oh uh, if i could have flashed then maybe i could have all end that's all good though pike doesn't generate as much uh healing back in the solo lane as he does in duo um, it's kind of, it's like the nerf that Tom Kench got, uh, Pike got something similar a while back. Just to kind of take him out of the solo lane. But he's still really good for the solo lane, just for... Hmm, got first strike. He denied that minion by eating into it, but you know what, got first strike. I'm gonna say it works. Soft hands, soft life. 21, 24. Ah, uh, okay. I think we both flashed, so that ends up being like a net neutral there. Although I have to watch out for Bing Do from uh from that from that bitch from that boar. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. Uh, I'll just go and push out this next wave. No matter what, the um, the ribbon's gonna be able to get a freeze here. Like I won't be able to break it. But what I can do is I can get some experience and almost be level six, so that like while she's freezing, I can look for a roam. It's like wave's gonna be frozen here. I'm gonna back. It's gonna be a bad spot. But maybe I can roam and try to get something for for mid. Gangplank's going to be uh, taking it back, too. Let's buy Moby Boots. Let's get on the map. So, I'm going to buy a pink board as well. And I'm also going to grab a Sweeper. So, I need to work with Zach to try to get something going. Because we need to uh, we need to start making impact, like, ASAP. Also, I want to be getting my, uh, my Treasure Hunter stacks. Monsters lurk above the waves. 
Oh, I missed it. Come on. Hey, back. If I hit that, then maybe we could have gotten something going on the uh, the Vex. But I'm just going to back and try to break this. At least puts on a little bit of pressure for the Gangplank, who got behind from early Sejuani ganks. Yeah, let's sit here. Nice. So not only did I generate extra gold right there for the uh, for the Zack, but I also generated extra gold for my treasure hunter, which is what I'm more so looking for. Let's let's go here. Uh, not working. All right, please push him back to me. I just chill. Looks like Ribbon took a TP there. I'm gonna grab another long sword. So I did take Futures Market, just so that like when I get my snowball potential rolling, uh, I can also use Futures Market to get me a little bit of extra items on every purchase. So behind on CS now, but that's just because of how the the wave ended up. I she was able to. Uh, oh, let me just. Okay, she just one-shot me. <laughs> no! Okay. I didn't even see her use her ulti. So, what's this skin? Valiant Sword Riven Prestige Edition 20... Oh, it's a 2022 skin. So, of course, it's gonna, like, hide the animations. I didn't even see that one coming. Okay, maybe I should have just taken, like, the small trade against Riven and then backed off. I need to be working with uh, my Zack as much as possible. Try to get things going. He's not really looking for many ganks, though. He's more so farming, but he's only level 5 at 9 minutes. That's really slow. So he's not ganking, he's not farming super well. Okay. Riven has no ulti, so I feel confident uh, walking up here and getting this wave shot. Let's back out. We can actually just run straight mid. I actually have an opportunity right now to go and just get a free kill mid. Oops, I accidentally double cast him out. Sometimes the shark takes the bait. Okay. Close am I to like Yomu's? I need a little bit more gold. I hate that my uh my ulti got wasted. Rune's got the wave in a good spot. We just gotta affect the rest of the map. So we've gotten two treasure hunter stacks, one on Riven, one on Vex. Uh, let me just grab another longsword. More longswords, the better. Although, against Riven, maybe it could be good if I built, like, a chain vest. And went into, like, a death stance setup. Death stance, by the way, is just insanely, insanely effective. Uh, here I have a stopwatch in case Riven goes too crazy on the dive. So, between the gold I've earned from Treasure Hunter and the gold I've earned from First Strike and my ulti, I think I've more than made up for the fact that I'm, like, down CS. And I'm going mid constantly to try to apply pressure. It's a big part of it. Oh, 
Nice. That's another treasure hunter stack. I'm getting so much gold. Uh, Riven got the shove in on top. But I think I also saved my Gangplank from dying to Sedge. So that's what the Moby Boots are all about. Getting those rooms. Now if I want to maybe trade a little bit better against Riven, then I would have gone Tabby's. But I mean, I don't think I'm ever beating Riven 1v1. Like, uh, that's, not, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to roam and get resets for our team. Uh, the Gangplank will be able to hold the Riven a little bit later. Just because Gangplank's going to have insane clear. So we'll kind of use him to uh, deal with that. And then we can just take over team fights. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to grab one Cloth Armor. Make me a little bit tankier. So let's, let's keep playing for mid. Uh, top wave is about even. We just want to be like out of lane as much as possible. We don't want to give up the turret, but I might not have a choice here. Riven's going to see that I um, went here. Yeah, we can kill Riven for sure. Because Riven's going to go for this turret. I wish he would have backed up towards me, but it's all good. I uh, I knew she had flash. I could have been more patient. <laughs> Stopwatch baited. She has four plates, I have zero. And uh, she's got, what, a 40 CS lead on me? But I'm still basically equal in items because of all the extra stuff I'm getting. Do this, and we'll grab this. We want to make a play bottom eventually. Oh, here. Defend top turret. Go, go, go. He's gonna go straight for it. He TP'd. An ally has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. Okay. Gangplank got the kill. You could take that. I didn't have ult there. Let me take this real quick. So as the game goes on, my first strike is going to do more and more damage as my combo does more and more damage. And if I can start getting executes during that first strike duration, I can start generating just so much gold off first strike too. Mm, bot lane Trist got first turret. Let me see if I can clear out some more vision. They don't have vision here. Okay. Let's see if me and Janna can set up something. Zach should drag the blue buff to here. Let's see if he could do two camps at once. Kind of waiting. Riven's taking her time pushing. Which is totally fine with me. I'm looking for our picks here or here. Gang Queen cover top. GP cover top. The deep will crush you. Okay. Well, rip. Maybe we got seen by another ward? I don't know. I had uh I had my stuff up. I was off the map for a really long period of time, so. Okay. 
So, we're just looking to be a roaming menace here. So I end up getting Treasure Hunter from uh, from the uh, Tristana there. I don't know if I got Treasure Hunter from Senna since I technically didn't get the kill. So that's interesting how that works. Oh no! I didn't see the... Uh... Man, I wasn't paying attention to Vex roaming up. RIP! Okay, let's grab... Uh... We can grab Axie Mark or we can grab Death Dance. I think that's dance me a little bit better. It'll allow me to go harder. I think Zach just kills him with the Conqueror. Oh, the Mountain Dragon coming in help. Let's go. Let's get this played. Yeah, now that I've got a. Uh... Like a little bit of survivability too. Uh, Duskblade will help even more with that because as I get takedowns, I'll go invisible, making them like impossible to just like auto attack me or whatever, right? So like uh, Tristana and Senna are gonna deal significantly less damage to me, and that's gonna allow me to uh, kind of pop off in fights more and allow me to set up my next ult. Man, I love Pike. I saved my uh, my Ezreal so hard there too. Uh, let me just push in with this ultimate. And we can grab this turret. It's like Riven went with the Death Dance too. Death Dance is just an extremely strong item. So, with Death Dance, you heal based off your bonus AD, and Pike just gets so much attack damage with this build. So, Duskblade for sure. I mean, we could go something like Eclipse for a little bit of healing too, and I add in a little bit extra burst. But the invisibility from Duskblade is just too good. Nice. Room got Rift. Let me deal with her. Riven's an issue because uh, she's playing the champion Riven. And that, uh, <laughs> that champion's nuts. Like, uh, this guy's double casting. He's doing uh, all the traditional Riven mechanics. As long as you, like, learn, like, the basics like that, like, Riven can be extremely strong. So he's got Gore Drinker Death Stance. So if he gets a single kill in a fight, he's just going to heal back to full, basically. I'm gonna push up. We got three minutes till the next objective. I kind of want to get this top turret. The ribbon's like roaming mid right now, so I'll take this time to take this turret. That's a lot of gold. And that can get me my dust blade. Actually, I could get dust blade right now if futures market technically, but might as well just straight up get it. So I can get this and probably grab uh, a pink ward. And we can look to make some picks. That's what this champion's all about. I got friends everywhere. Especially okay, we got the um Another. <laughs> Wow, that's so much damage. Just trying to see if Ribbon roam through here. From towards bottom. Wow, the game plan got him. So we can look for maybe assassination on Trist to get a little extra gold. I can't kill the uh, Sejuani, she's way too tanky. I don't have my Oracles out. 
Do you have a pink or anything? I got my E off. I hit her, but it didn't knock her up because she was still in transit. Rip. Let's see, we can go Mom Mordius too. This, this can give me a huge magic shield to prevent me from being one shot by the uh, effects. Wow! Zach does some damage. Death Dance doing work, negating a lot of Gangplank's uh, poke. Mm, let's see. Let's head bottom. Let's fight for the dragon. Gotta get their ASAP. So the Dwani's gonna be on the way. Lord. Zach's still dead, but maybe we can get picks of people heading over. Uh, Gangplank's pushing out top, and I wasn't able to hit that Q onto the, uh, onto the Senna, so can't get a pick on her. I was trying to stop this back. Wait. No, my history will die. Oh, he should have gone in there. I saw a triple kill in the making. All he has to do is get them all to like three quarters HP and I can burst them down from there. Mm, both ADCs are actually pretty far behind. As I was going to mob build. I don't know if we can get here to save. We don't have the damage between me and Janna either to burst down the ribbon. She uh she'll just heal right back up. We need Gangplank or Ezreal to get the fight going. With a little bit of damage. Maybe have like a good Zack engage too. But we need a fight, and we need a fight as five. Uh, we're splitting too much, especially when the Riven is grouping. Let's go up here. I sank so deep. If Riven goes for a play, we can go after her. Okay, she just hopped over. Okay, is that going for the solo kill on Vex? I mean, in all fairness, he almost killed her. Oh! The gangplank! The save! I'm coming! Nice. That's worth. Well, what is this music when I'm using my W? I don't know if you guys heard that. That was crazy. Uh, we got no one covering top against the Riven. Never trust anyone who cowers behind a desk. I 
Okay. I did not expect them to jump straight back. I don't have rotations. I gotta get all more kills if we're gonna make this work. I didn't get the reset. The Ezreal just straight up killed him. <laughs> that Gangplank did so much damage too. My Zac is on a mission to take over the team there. Um, yeah, let's actually go Axie Mark instead of Maw. Really, the, the damage is going to be coming from Ribbon. And I can avoid Vex stuff. The same with Sejuani. Maybe a little bit too defensive going for mob right then. I can go for Axiom. Okay. Eleven? Wait, look at all the HP out. Wait, I'm full HP. <laughs> Death Dance plus my W, baby. Or not my W, my passive. Okay, one shot him. Man, if we get fire dragons too. Okay, Game Pink's uh, holding the fort up there. Alt's in 22 seconds. We just get to take the Fire Dragon for free. Now we have to worry about them potentially going for this. Oh! I still stand by my Axiom choice. We can also just go GA here. GA, give me that revive. Mm, they're definitely going to be looking at Baron now. Now, I can sprint at Baron, like, super fast, but we'll see. I don't want to sell my broken stop. Uh, it's not worth selling the broken stopwatch for man. My my buy is really weird because I've got almost two thousand gold, but I don't want to sell my stopwatch towards BF sword because I can build it into GA. Some damage. Okay. I'm just gonna buy my GA with my futures market. Okay, not bad. Alright, I'm almost all 16. Probably just gonna push side for all 16. Uh, it's two drags to two drags. I think we just keep putting the gangplank to sideways. I gangplank six items, dang. Same as me. Rune's looking for some pressure. Gangplank's like gangplank can't really TP in though.
Do we have oracles? I'm basically full on items, so I'm not gonna be taking that. FGA. Oh, okay, that's fine. He just ult me. I think we should be able to end off that. So they engaged on me, and they couldn't even kill me, because I'm actually fairly tanky. I've got a lot of armor, and I've got the Death Dance and uh, Janna behind me, too. And then even if they do get me, I'm I'm a GA pike. That's really hard to stick on to. Alright, GG. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. More videos to come, including coaching videos, high yield turn videos, and more stuff like this where we test out a lot of the new stuff on PB. Make sure to stay tuned. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Have a wonderful day.